up, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. Talk to me. You think you're tough, don't you? Boss up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't going to do what I say to you. I dare you. I dare you. You ain't going to do it to me? Why you do it to her? Why you talk to her disrespectfully? See, this is what I'm talking about. Let's go. This video is brought to you by TatumStore.com. TatumStore.com. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell so you get a notification anytime I go live and make a video. Make sure you still subscribe to this channel. Like this video. Comment this video. Share this video. Let's get into this. Ladies and gentlemen, this is what I'll be talking about in a positive way. Thank God there's men out here like this gentleman that is willing to set these young men straight. And shout out to Mom Dukes who's willing to allow a man to come into our house and realize that the boy ain't listening. He need a real man to have a conversation with him. Need a real man to set the record straight, bro. It's, it's like, I don't know why people live in a fantasy world where they think men's value isn't, you know, I, would, I don't want to use the word intrinsic. That just sound good to say intrinsic, but that's not the right word. But like men's value isn't necessary for society to grow and prosper. Young boys... Let me just say this to women. Please hear me out. If you can handle and manage and raise a young boy till he's 18 years old with no father, you, you are spectacular. You are what I would call an anomaly. The boy is probably struggling to a certain degree because not having a daddy brings a, an inherent struggle. However, you are rare. You raise a young man that go off and do great things and don't have – character flaws and huge issues going on, you are what I would call an anomaly. But the majority of women raising boys, they need a man. The boy, it's just, it's not because you're not a good mama. It's just boys have an innate respect for men that they don't have for women. And it's, they, they can't control it. They don't fear you. They don't see you the same way as they do a man. And, and, and sometimes if a boy don't have access to a really good man growing up, he began to hate other men. And that fear and that respect turns into vengeance and hate. And that's why you see young brothers killing each other because they didn't have a strong father and they don't have a, that love for a man, that, that, that the fact that my daddy wasn't there and he didn't love us and he left us out here, you know, to struggle turns into hate for men. And then you hate other men who look like your daddy. And it becomes a, a slippery slope. So this man, I want y'all to watch this video. I've been talking long enough. Watch this video and what this man do. And I, I got to show y'all his page. And I want you to support this man. I want you to donate to his cause. I'll put all those links in the description section because we need more men out here willing to do this. Roll the clip. Like she crazy? Cursing at her? Telling her what you won't do? You won't clean your room? You won't do what you want to do? And you talk to your mother like that? Like you tough? Do you think you tough, little man? Talk to me like you talk to your mother. <laughs> talk to me. You think you tough, don't you? Boss up on me. Cuss me out. Tell me you ain't gonna do what I say to you. I dare you. <laughs> I dare you. You ain't gonna do it to me? Why you do it to her? Why you talk to her disrespectfully? Why? Little boy, answer me. Why do you talk to your mother disrespectfully? I don't know why I do it. You don't know why you do it. Today I'm going to help you find out why. And today it ends. Today it ends. Do you understand? Yes, sir. You will not call your mother out of her name ever again. You're doing? That's what I'm talking about, bro. See, my son got a benefit because ain't nobody got to call somebody up. Daddy already there. My son ever do something like that. I don't care what situation go on with me and his mama. I don't care if she like me, I like her, it's irrelevant. He will, my son will never grow up disrespecting any woman, especially not his mama. And that's how I roll. And I tell you what, I, I'm transparent with you guys. Me and his mama don't get along, at, at, hardly at all. But I will, over my dead body, will my son ever disrespect his mama? Ever, ever, never, I will lose my mind because, you know, a young man's foundational 
I would say foundational character principle, one of them, would be respect for your mama. You ain't got to like your mama. You ain't got to you ain't got to like what she do for you. You ain't like she do. you got to respect your mama. A young man that respects his mother goes on to respect and appreciate women, goes on to be a good husband. A young boy that disrespects his mama, that have a negative or at least don't have a good foundational uh, relationship with women. A relationship with women don't mean you got to agree with all of them. You just have to you have to have respect for them. And if a man don't have that foundation, a man can't get married to no woman. He's going to grow up with mama issues and ain't never going to get married, never going to be happy unless he find Jesus. Jesus can make it all better. But I love this man here and I'm going to go to his platform because I want y'all to see it. We'll link it there. This is what this man does for a living. You know, he got he it's called prison prevention specialist. That's what he does. He go house calls nationwide. He go to families everywhere and he go in their house, just like we saw another video. And this is a video too. go to their house and set the record straight. It don't matter if they black, white, green or orange. He in a white person house right here, setting the record straight, setting the record straight. Going out and doing stuff in the community, setting the record straight. And then, you know, once once he does the thing, you know, they come back and love him and thank him for it. This man, you know, not let something weird happen. I, I love what he's doing. I think he's amazing. This is necessary. I, I'm going I'm to I'm reach out to the brother and I want to support his cause too. I might donate a little bit of money. He told me, I, I reached out to him already, but I haven't reached out to him with me doing anything significant. I just reached out to him. Before I make this video to say, hey, man, I want to support. I'm going to talk about you in the video. I want to, if you got a need, if you got some links or something, I want to make sure we cover that because I would hate to post this and nobody know who the man is. Um, however, I, I really want to talk to him personally about what can I do? What can we do as a channel to kind of help move the ball forward? Because more men need to do this. These young boys ain't trying to hear their mama. This is past the mama. Mama can't help you here. And if you look at the ages of these young men, and I've been preaching this forever, look at the ages of these young men. These young men are, are, are probably preteen or just now getting into teenage, the teenage age. They're just now going into high school. They're just now kind of getting their legs on them. They, pro they probably right around hitting puberty. You got to get to them now. Get to them at this age. Because to be honest, if you don't get to them at this age, look at them. Look at the young men that he's talking to. Look at the age of these young men. I, I know what I'm talking about. I, I, I ain't even go to school for this, but I can see it. Look at the age of these young men. Look at the age of these boys. You got to get to the men. When they get 18, there ain't no telling them what to do unless you find Jesus. Like I say, Jesus is the solution to all of it. You're going to have to find Jesus. Because once, once a kid get 16, 17, 18, they little, they little stuff starting to hang they, they, don't, they ain't afraid of you no more. They don't care what you say. They grown. They about to be grown. Then they turn 18 and move out the house, and then you done lost your opportunity to pour into them. This is why I say all the time, even with my own son, I say, listen, he needs to be with his father more. And the reason is because at some age, these boys need, need a strong man to be present every day in their life. When they were young little boys and they were cute, little mama hug them and, and rub their back and do all this other stuff, it was necessary. But at a certain point in time, a boy needs a man to teach him how to be a man. You can't do that over the phone. You can't do that on a Zoom call. A, boy, a young boy have to see it. He have to feel it. And he have to be taught how to be a man. And, and if, if people love their kids, if they got a good father or a good role model, you should be people should be open to understanding this if they care about their kids. Once it's too late, father be like, hey man, don't come, don't cut, nah, don't, don't, don't send him when he's so far out of control, he's going to jail and he's in jail, and then you want to send him to boot camp. No, we were trying to take it, we were trying to stop it. Way back then, now you can't. Now the boy in dr on drugs in a gang, he don't listen to nobody. Now I gotta put my hands on him to even get him to listen. I didn't see this happen in people's life all the time. Men have a kid, he say, man, he getting out of control. The kid is eight, man, getting the kid nine. He's out, he ain't listening. 10, 11, 12, you're like, look, 
he running you over. You better you change something. 13, 14, 15. He too much now. 15, he running away. He leaving the house. 16, 17. Now, now he going to live with, with his daddy. But now he's he's bigger. He had no level of respect. Now daddy got to be crazy with him. I've seen this happen. Now, now he getting into physical fights with his daddy. He should have been there from the very beginning. He should have been there when he was younger. Now daddy got to put them things on him in order to get the respect that he could have had a long time ago if p both people were, were really consciously aware of like, this is the direction. It ain't about me or you. It's about let's make sure this is right before you get out of control. Anyway, I love this man, man. Y'all go support this brother. If somehow y'all find something crazy, let me know. But Man, I hit him up in the inbox. I went through all his social media. It, he, he looked like he a good man, setting these boys straight uh, at a young age, which is which is invaluable. And, and you know what? The funny thing is I might ask him to come do an interview with me so he could talk more about what he's doing because this is necessary, man. These boys need somebody to kick him in the rear, take him through a little boot camp, and they become better men. All right, I'll see y'all in the next one. I'm out. <laughs>